Hi again, Pete RatMySpider.com. Well, we're continuing on with our Can-Am Spider RT Dash Kit uh, application videos. And uh, this video is going to show you how to apply the speaker section of our real carbon fiber uh, dash kit for the uh, 2020 and 21 Spider uh, RT and RT Limited. So um, just some, a quick reminder about our surface prep as we're covering with all of our videos. Uh, we're still encouraging you to use the 70% uh, rubbing alcohol and paper towel uh, to do your application. A uh, reminder of uh, 65 degrees or warmer controlled atmosphere. Um, and that's to ensure that you're going to get a good install, not have any trouble. Uh, again, you want to make sure that there's no silicone based products, especially on this textured part here. The dash kit does not grab as nice as it does on the glossy parts. So typically it does take a little bit more concentration and time to get that uh, surface ready to accept the dash kit. And again, the longer uh, and more methodical your surface prep is more of a guarantee that you're not going to have any kind of peeling issues uh, with your dash kit and it'll last for years to come. Um, again, we always recommend when you think you're ready and you've got it all prepped and you're feeling good, do that masking tape test, stick it to the surface, pull it off, make sure you have good resistance. Um, it's all about surface prep when you apply kit like this. So make sure that you're, you're feeling good when it comes to that. If you're not, then continue to reapply uh, or reprep. We're always providing the adhesion promoter. This is a surface area where you would want to use that, um, where you're going to wipe it on that surface. And again, this is basically insurance that you don't have uh, peeling issues. So we've went ahead and we have um, applied the adhesive promoter in the area where the dash kit's going to be installed. And again, this ensures that the product's going to stay in place uh, for years to come. So we've already done that, but you know, you want to wipe that surface area. So in the speaker part, we're recommending that you start with this piece right here. This is a separated piece. You can see this panel comes off. So this piece fits basically in the, in, within the borders uh, of that part. So you're going to expose your adhesive peeling off that 3M acrylic uh, backing paper. Positioning wise, basically you want to center it on the panel staying within uh, the edges. So for something like that, typically you hover above and then you can just tack the top and align the bottom and make sure that you have it where you want it. If you want to pick it up, you can see you've got good bite. I'm just going to move it up just a hair keeping it within that panel, following the edge. We'll tack down the tip and push it into place. Very nice. Now we're going to again go over this with, uh, with some heat as we've been doing in all of our videos. So the next piece you're going to put on after you put on this out outside piece is going to be uh, this piece here, the largest of all those pieces. So let me back it off. Make sure you can see correctly. Hopefully my arm won't be in the way. Hopefully you're enjoying these videos and that they prove helpful. All right, so we have this piece. We're always recommending you dry set. So dry set the piece, get a feel for where it's supposed to be installed. Now you can see there's a dip in here. So you're going to account for that dip. Um, because that will change the angle. So um, what I see with this panel is when you do your alignment, this is the area you're looking at is this, this speaker area. Um, so you want to make sure your dash kit borders this evenly. Uh, and if you do that, as an example, when we hold it in place, this arm you'll be able to work into place as well. That's because it's thin. But notice here when you push down on the dash, it'll fall where it needs to go. So make sure here up here in this curve, see where my finger is, make sure that you're positioned there in the correct place as well. 
and that's about where it needs to fall. So you could put a mark if you wanted to for alignment purposes, but um, as long as you follow this edge, that's going to fall into place uh, very nicely as well. And you can see here you have a nice, a nice border with the kit too. So what, I, what I'm going to do is uh, peel back the adhesive to just get beyond that area there. I'm going to put a little, a little bend in it. That'll help me to get it tacked without it falling into place. See, it's keeping the kit off the surface. So I want to align right here. We're checking that. We're going to tack it. And so I'm checking this edge here. That's going to trail across the top of that, the sweep of the dash. We're checking the alignment across the top and around this edge. So we're going to, with a little bit of force, push it into position. You can check your alignment there. And up to the top. So you got a nice parallel edge across here. And then you can uh, peel back this top arm. And that's going to fall right on the right along the top of that silver bar. Get that nice and tight on that same thing. So now we've got from here up and here is installed and we have this little hockey stick, if you will. We'll expose that adhesive maybe to the edge and then um, use this inside edge as your guide for the leading edge of the dash kit. So you want to be right along that edge as you lay it in place. Then you can expose and set it in place. There. So we've got that piece. What a difference, huh? Really gives it that OE factory look. So we've got one more piece, that's this, uh, this one here, and you can check your fitment, but on this piece here you want to be along the leading edge of the dash kit as it comes to the point and rolls under, which it looks like it does. You have to use a little bit of force because this area right here is cupped. So that's an area you really want to make sure falls in place, this area right here, see it? So. Let me grab my heat source because we may want to put a little bit of heat on that just to soften it so the kit will come, go, fall into place correctly. So again with this piece, let's dry set it. There's your point and of course you're going to get it nice and tight here. Now what I would recommend on this is we're going to start here and work our way this way. That way we can get it to fall in. So that point is going to be where we start. We're going to give ourselves a tab. So again, actually let's put our tab to the outside, not the inside. So we're going to go this way. They see the tab tabs at the bottom. Okay, so uh, let's snug it up nice. We're going to butt it. We think it's going to go about right there. Butt it, check it. I think I want to go forward just a hair. Check it. So when you push in this top corner, you're going you're gonna to see how it, how it will fall once the adhesive takes, and I like that. So we're nice and tight here and here. The point is to the edge there, so we can go ahead and tack that. Then just like our, in our other installs, you're exposing that adhesive slowly, maybe an inch at a time, right? Pull it back, 
keeping it nice and tight here. Pushing that kit down. Now I'm going to roll this out and see how I have it curved. And that way I can push it into place. You could apply heat here if you wanted to, which would soften it and help it roll into place. But I think just rolling that out like that is going to be enough. And we're just going to force it in with your thumb. And look at that. Fell right into place very nicely. Wow, super cool. So once you have it installed like that, that's your, that's your uh, speaker area. We're going to do what we've been encouraging you to do. And you could do this all at the end or you can do it in steps, but we're gonna put heat to it. So light heat, you can use a hair dryer. I'm gonna use a heat gun. We're using our microfiber. We're gonna warm the kit and this is gonna help to activate the adhesive um, so that it gets nice and stuck. You don't want to overheat it. If the kit starts to feel kind of stucky or sticky, uh, you want to lighten up your heat a little bit. And so we're warming, pushing it into place. And again, this is this is just insurance that you don't have any trouble down the road. With that 3M acrylic adhesive, very rarely will you have trouble. Um, those who have trouble typically are the ones who rush their install uh, or who didn't prep their surface correctly. And that's why we stress surface prep, so important. So once you've got it warmed and nice, that's softened it. You can do a visual. So just take a look at the leading edge. You might have to dip down kind of underneath. Take a look at the leading edge. Make sure it looks like you've got good adhesion intact. You can see the leading edge over here too, same thing. Just look at it, push it down, go around it. And all those pieces, they come together very, very nicely. So uh, what a neat look, huh? And more pieces to come. So this is the, uh, what we're calling the speaker area. There is uh, one other piece actually that we could throw on there before we finish the video. And that's just this, this is a, a straight bar and it goes on the top part of the silver area. Let me move it back over here. And basically alignment would be just to uh, align it parallel with the silver. Like that. Following the edge. If you don't like it, you can reposition. Just kind of a finishing touch as that this curves around with the body line. There. Piece is pretty easy. We'll throw some heat on that for you. Uh, but that, uh, that covers our installation video for the speaker section. Uh, if you have questions, email us, sales, ratmyspider.com. Feel free to give us a call if you have questions related to application. We're always happy to help. Again, this is uh, Pete with ratmyspider.com where you can purchase the 2020, 2021, and newer Can-Am Spider RT, RT Limited, 3D domed, real carbon fiber dash kit. We appreciate you watching. Thank you.